sharing my daily winter style for winter 2020. Um, I call my look Don't Speak Music Video Gwen Stefani in 2020. Now, uh, my hair, I just kept it simple and just did like just a very loose curl that make, just makes waves and um, nothing special and I didn't do the Gwen Stefani like hair but um, I, I used to do that and sometimes I still do. Uh, I wanted earrings that dangled but were, were not like gold hoops or something because I was going for more of a, a romantic look than more of like a contemporary like modern girl look in those terms. So I've got my like mom and pop arts crafts earrings I got in town. Um, very inexpensive. I think I paid like ten dollars, um, and it just supports your community. And look, kind of looks like the tree of life. Someone said it looks like the Oakland um, logo, like that tree with the roots. But it's muted, so it doesn't draw too much attention. More attention to the hair and the makeup, and just small detail. I've got my Gabby Riel um, Planet. Pave pendant. I got that for about thirty dollars, thirty-five on um, off Saks Fifth. Uh, and my dress. The best part, the sweetest part of this deal is that this dress um, I got on Nordstrom Rack on the app, and um, I think I paid like fifteen dollars, maybe less, like fourteen ninety-five. And it's not like silk or anything, but it's made well, and the cut is just right and modern. Uh, you will need a, a half bra or one of those ones that adhere and connect. I wouldn't recommend one just randomly from like the World Wide Web and with the no name and no reviews. Uh, I bought one of those for like $5.99. Uh, my husband got it for me. Terrible. Never used it. Uh, so mine I got from Nordstrom Rack as well, but I did go into the store to purchase it, I believe. But you can get it probably through their website or their app as well. Uh, so let me show you the dress. I love this cut. I mean, it doesn't leave any room to wear like a bra, but I do love that definition of like literally like all of your neck and chest, except your chest. So let me go back. It's got buttons. About a month or two ago and I've lost weight and now it, it's like the perfect fit and uh, because it's winter I mean it's nice and sunny here in California but it's still winter and I live in a cooler area of town in a canyon and um, so I've got leggings I've just got a pair of uh, like like those pink leggings and I although pink like Victoria's Secret pink is a little bit pricier I do find that um, the quality, the, uh, the elasticity, uh, it retains its um, resilience longer and it just um, holds up better over time. Plus wearing that underneath, especially if you wear the ones that go high enough, it gives you like kind of like a, a tummy control. So I've got those. Let me see if I can. Along with. Um my, along with my, uh, my Doc Martin Leona boot, that officially put the period on the, uh, the no doubt video, um, don't speak. It, cause up until now it kind of looked like conservative, like lady slash the, like Titanic, but the shoes really brought it home into 2020, but also parallels like 1994 um, or more like 95 96 so that's my look for today I've just got really subtle makeup and I do want to share my makeup tips but I've got a business plan and um, it's centered around makeup and so I have some ideas so but I like coverage but I like to look as natural as possible I don't use filters 
even if I took a picture, like I want it to look, I'm so vain, I want it to look like even better in person than it does in a photo. So it actually looks, I think, even better in person. And I have a method of gradient blush application. And my blushes, I spend like literally $1.50 each blush. And my eyebrow pencil, I have no microblading, no threading. I use a eyeshadow up here from Urban Decay 2 Basic Palette. I have another video. I give an explanation of how to do the gradient. And I have like a three, four dollar eyebrow pencil. And um, I just do the, the tips. My mascara, it's very special. My husband, if, you, if you're a guy and you want to get your wife a good gift, it's called Kiss Me Heroin. And um, it's like, it's not going to come off. It's rain, shine. If I'm on the beach swimming, it's it's really not going to come off. And even, even if I have makeup remover, it's really hard. I have a technique. Now, the description for this is in a video called Alpha Goddess Badass. So it's, uh, it's very particular. I've actually bought the wrong one, even as a loyal consumer and dissatisfied. So it's pink on the bottom. Like, it'd be pink here and black here. And it comes in black and... If you got that for your wife and it's like 20 bucks, you'd blow her mind because you, you got her. And um, there are a couple of other gifts that are unconventional. And if you brought that home, you'd like knock her socks off, literally. So keep watching for uh, gift ideas. And uh, let's see, there's something I want to talk about. Um, I had an idea and um, I'm not the person to start this, but I thought, you know what? I just learned about Muhammad Ali recently, and I've had a lot of exposure to media and everything, and it didn't register. So, and it didn't register with my neighbor, who's a little bit older than me, and um, she likes to stay updated and educated and learn, and she, I had explained it to her. Um, and I learned Muhammad Ali through a guy in town who literally has glitter letters on the back that says, back of his brown I think it's like an Oldsmobile or something Cadillac or Cutlass or something and he's got Muhammad Ali the greatest all the way across the back and I was talking to my donut shop people and you know get yourself some donut shop people and they said that they knew the guy they, they their nickname for him was two feathers or something like that and uh, that they they seen him drive around town for a while so I have this idea. If there is such a lack of awareness, I mean, I just knew he was a boxer, but that was just like the, the first layer of the onion. Um, he's like a boxer and a little drop of, actually, the concentration of like Kanye West's like exuberance, because I think Kanye got like three drops of that and that was enough. But he's got the exuberance and like e ego and confidence of like, nobody I've ever heard of like who would say it honestly and then what he what he did with his life what he chose to do when he had everything going for him and he did the hardest thing he had to do which was live his truth but it looked like it was pretty easy for him on this documentary I saw called Muhammad Ali um, like the greatest video on YouTube but I'm sure he had a, he probably had some like really hard talk, like conversations with himself. So I have this idea and this is for, I probably am going to send an email, just nonsense, but BET. I couldn't think of another authority who'd be contemporary and can like be a little bit more unofficial and like oversee or mediate like a, a competition a competition where anybody any rapper hip-hop artist whether you're whether you have four million followers on YouTube or or four um, on Instagram or wherever where everybody would have an even playing field to make a one-minute um, song I don't care what words they're in there 
each person, just freedom of speech, freedom of artistic, you know, integrity. And in one minute, they create music. Like, it has to be hip-hop rap, in my opinion. Um, that just captures either the energy of Muhammad Ali, the, the determination, the power, like, because he was like a superhero of his time, not just for, you know, African Americans, but he was like a celebrity, like, of radio, television, like, who loved himself, who, who vocalized it, and who, who was able to back it up, not just in the, the ring, but in real life, you know, when it really came down to being a superhero and making superhero decisions. And sometimes superhero decisions mean that the superhero has to uh, be stripped of that big S and, and be stripped of um, acceptance, be stripped of everything he um, like worked so hard to build. So I think of it this way. The, like I love the origin of words and this word testify I found out it comes from like long ago before we could figure out someone's criminal history or their um, credit score or whatever that when you talk to someone and you told your truth you hold your testicles and and you held them and you told the truth you testified so I would want all aspiring and rappers and hip-hop artists in the game, retired, semi-retired, just putting out their one minute and really testing their, by merit, by talent, how good they are in music, in um, lyrics, in artistry, whether it's one person or a, a duet or a group. And this would give a chance for young people to re- visit Muhammad Ali and really create like a positive buzz and it would be on like a website or something or some social media platform where all of the world can give it a I don't know if you're allowed to use the thumbs up thumbs down if that's like trademark but you know who but uh, like whatever would be the equivalent in the hip-hop world would you know, it'd be like a pyramid scheme or something like whoever got more points would get to the top and get to the top and submissions would be submitted by like June of this year or whenever year somebody would be willing to start a project like this. And then another six months, like the deadline would be like June or whatever, six months in. And then after that, another six months of like, like the world deciding, not BET, not some elite rappers like. Eminem or Dr. Dre or Too Short, it would be, they would, I would love to see them like elevate themselves and be like, not necessarily judges or something, not be petty or competitive. They could even submit their one minute um, testimony and testify. And, um, but more of like guidance to encourage, like to find the goat. To find the Cinderella, the Cinderella man, um, and really give credit where credit is due, and just really celebrate like talent and artistry and heart, just sprinkled all over the earth. So anyway, um, that was my crazy idea, my crazy uh, business marketing slash idea straight out of my ass. Um, I think I was listening to like, I got the idea. I was listening to Too Short or Exhibit or something. I don't really like, Exhibit's not like my favorite music, but he just had such charisma on the show, um, like Pit My Ride. He just seemed like a nice guy. So I'm just going to assume that he is. But um, then I had this idea. I was going to wear my mom's spaghetti shirt um, and reach out to Eminem. But then I thought, you know what? Eminem's just gonna submit his one minute and maybe like impart wisdom and support for the underdogs 
and that he supports, like as anybody else who would be judging with their one vote. Um, and then at the end, the guy or gal or of the group, um, something happens to them, hopefully, just nature takes its course. Uh, but the main po point would be just like crazy awareness for a guy who just embodied courage, like strength from inside out and outside in. And then whatever proceeds, marketing, money, give half to Layla Ali and their family. Because that would only be right. Um, that would only be like the best, the best thing to do in my opinion. So anyways, um, I hope, you know, I'm going to send that crazy email to BET. And I, I hope, uh, I think I'll even send one to Eminem. But Eminem, I did buy your mom's spaghetti shirt. And I wear it sometimes around town. And a couple kids will be like, they'll get it. And the other people will be like, I love spaghetti. But anyway, I just like to wear it. Um, it makes me feel four years younger. Just total wannabe. But anyway, thanks for watching. And if you want more hair, um, makeup coming soon, I, um, I just have a big, big universal uh, plans for makeup and revolutionizing the makeup industry and reducing uh, returns and improving um, sales and um, your consumers to branch out from whatever they're using and try uh, other things that work for them and just literally finding the right product for you because it's not necessarily one brand or the other everyone's different skin tone texture and it's just helping people find the right product I don't know if there's such thing as best product to help them be their best outside in inside out while they figure themselves out thank you bye